September 6th, they kill law offices. The office is filled with the police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you... Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait! You're that Butts guy, aren't you? <clears throat> no, no. Phoenix Wright. How can anyone mistake me for Larry? Oh, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That Butts guy. He was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was true innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective Gumshoe. 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 Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right! At your service. Hang on! That's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't you go calling me Dick. <laughs> hey, Dick! Get over here! <laughs> There's a few yeah, things. Yes, with, sir. There's a few things wrong with fighting in a basement. First of all, you're fighting, fighting in a basement. But be right there. Um, ahem. you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. <sighs> he thinks I'm Maya's. He thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Examine. Oh, I was hoping I was gonna be able to examine him. That would be funny. Examine the plant. It's a crappy plant. Me as flavor part of the plant. I'm glad with that. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordyline Strict. Uh, oh, wait, no. <laughs> Cordyline Strict, pal! Who was that? I think it was Gumshoe, but. I can talk to Gumshoe. I like Gumshoe. What's up, Gumshoe? Oh. oh. I can talk to Mia. Oh, I think you're talking about them. Oh. Fine. Let's, let's talk about Mia. About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Huh? You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss. That doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Hey. Mm. Probably read that later. Yep. Talk about Maya. Um, about Maya. Yeah? I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. I've only had two. Of them. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Let's talk about Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. That's who we were going to go visit. I guarantee it. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. Yeah? Yeah, he's like the most famous. Or he's it's not the same one. Oh, okay. No. I know him. He's a fear yeah, because we're we, we went to go find a defendant uh, in uh Edward's prosecutor. I know him, he's a feared prosecutor. I don't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. Or he doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ow! Oh! Don't talk about him that way. You make him sound bare. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid that's pretty much besides the case. So Edwards is on this one. He hasn't lost the case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of twenty. That is young. Report. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I uh, all I know for sure is that Edwards hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Cause he's mad. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. I don't do Time to examine some more? Examine yeah, some more. Oh, yeah. Oh, you need to talk to him about the phone. I can't. No, no, like, do pre you can present something, the note that you said, oh, yeah. that she gave you. That one. Yeah. yeah what's that? I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, there, I have that. <laughs> Do you think you could give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal! Check the lawyer! <laughs> oh, he's on to me. Tell him not so straight. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. But what should I tell him? Some of the matter? Oh, no, um... That, that carrying strap on the cell phone. 
this, um, it says, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old A Tokyo. The Steel Samurai. That action here on TV? Yeah, you see, the strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the person. Precinct. That's what she said? Uh, yes. Hmm. Okay, pal. I wrote down all numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems she didn't notice the recording. He didn't report the recording conversations, but. I already heard it. I guess if I saw all the questions, I need to. You all done, pal? Uh, yes, thank you. I've out in it again now. Oh, wait! Uh, One more thing I want to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better know. No influence in the witness with your lawyery ways, pal. <laughs> I love him so much. Uh, okay. Ah! Come to think of it, I, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness. Yeah, Miss April. April, May. April, May. April, May, June, July. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me your name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Aha! You're trying your lawyer tricks on me again? <coughs> she's not to go outside her room until the trial. She just told us. So she's still in her hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a de t detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Mm-hmm. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. I gotta go talk to Miss May. Go, go talk to Miss May. But why do that? You go move water. away. Go to the Gatewater Hotel. Gatewater Hotel. September. September 6th. Gatewater Hotel. Room 303. Oh my gosh. Well, hello there, he is. Oh my god. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Feels smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me to be like. He said, "Don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal." Hee <laughs> hee. That's right. Yeah. It's like know it itself. Uh, thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting I can barely contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pay the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. That's be gonna you. be you. Or me, because I'm using your voice. There's a thing right there. It's sticking out. It's important. Mm -hmm. There's a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. <gasps> <gasps> I wonder what's inside. Jeez. Screw Let's take a look. Hey! What are you doing? Oh, no scary. touching! Oh, bad boy. This is getting scary. You... You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode there for a second. <laughs> I wonder what could be done, what could be inside that drawer. So, let's talk, girl. What you witnessed. It's like, do you think you can tell me something? <laughs> I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe. Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> um, gulp. Wow, that was the best sound effect ever 10 out of 10 would play. Put on encourager. Why not? <laughs> or, you know that thing that occurred, um, happened the other day, the bad thing? What'd you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pray, please. Let me see. Um, well, dream on! If you want to know, you'll just have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Miss May. Miss tell me your secrets. Um, could you just... Who are you? Oh! Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? 
No, hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tee <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. <laughs> so weird. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this. <laughs> why, why are you blushing, girl or boy or whatever the heck you are, Phoenix? Um, tee hee. Right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no! <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? If my weird. Oh, boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? <laughs> Miss May doesn't like noisy little nosy little lawyers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm gonna annoy with her. Just run away forever. Percent. Just autopsy. No percent. Examine. She doesn't want you to examine mm, stuff. Examine whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> What's inside, I wonder? <coughs> Maybe later. No, I'll, I'll examine everything now. A bottle and two glasses on the table. Somebody must have stayed with her. I need her out of this room! Move out. What do I have? Let's do it later. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let's just move out. Go back to Grosper. Maybe he's there now. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grog was spurs out. Well, maybe I should just bring your farm until he comes back. <laughs> if that's if that wasn't the most over the top clearing of the throat I've ever heard, that voice. <laughs> oh, oh so you're the one they say has been looking for me. <laughs> uh it, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. <laughs> The badge on your collar. <laughs> uh, so you're a lawyer, are you there? It, yes, well, yes. And what do you want? Better. I'm not practically procurably breathing <laughs> these days. <laughs> Please proceed. Not busy, then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Gersenberg, did you know? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? How was it? Um, well, well, sir, actually, it's about my, my fate. Hmm. Oh, yeah. My fate. Go on. Hmm. Why this strange reaction? A uh, ch ch I'm really quite busy here, so... I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. But wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? <laughs> bum, bum, bum! Uh, uh -huh. uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, in the schedule. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Bye. <laughs> Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you. Bye! I'm gonna talk to you first. Get a, yeah, that, and then go talk to my talk. I'm just, just about your refusal. That's all I care about. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. <laughs> Where, you see, it's just, I'm busy, you see. But the client is Maya Faye's sister. <laughs> <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course. I, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Come on. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyways. I'll go look somewhere else. <laughs> now. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What, what do you mean? I'm gonna put you up. I'm turning the part of your side. If 
But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case because of the other guy. Yeah. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I I cannot say. I beg your pardon. But can you leave now? I have no more discussion with you. What's going on? Okay, man, it's pretty Peace obvious. Peace out. Peace out. Let's, Peace out. Let's move, move out. Move. Moving out. Move Still out to the detention center. center. Let's go talk to Maya. Say, girl, what's up? Maya's not here. She must not be pushing it. They probably won't let her out for a while. Maybe I'd better go talk to that lawyer again. Again? Okay, okay apparently we had more to talk to him about. Cool. This guy monitors the visitor's room. He has a move to Vince. A real pro, this guy. <laughs> it's because he's pixelated. True. He's also a picture. Fine. Okay, let's just go back to the He just asked us to leave, so I was like, you know? What about Maya? How'd you know Mia Faye? <laughs> she worked here. Long time girl. Five clean princess. That one. Run my techniques in the blink of an eye. So left one day, quite suddenly, she had a mission, you see. A, a mission? She becomes the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. <laughs> you can see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never look back at that one. <laughs> That's quite a painting. Oh! Notice, it's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Where is it? Here? Color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention part of it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not. I'm not uh, buying. I don't buy my things. Why don't I buy my things? Done with him. No, okay. There she is. September 6, 3.42 p.m. Text center. Visitor. Kaya. Oh, you're back. Did you find a lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, you see, just to be honest, I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. <laughs> hmm. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Um. Hmm. I see. I've never been abandoned. Then. I've been abandoned. Oh. Talk about your family. What happened about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know who my mother, where my mother is. <laughs> I don't know. So she could be alive. Maybe she killed you. Well, the way you saw the, the women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP, it's in the game, runs in our blood. <laughs> About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an accident. There was a man, and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountains. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her. all by herself on that mountain. So, who was this man um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We saw it. You saw it? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Whoa! 
The police consulted with a medium. Had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it. Leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was fraud. And that, that the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, kept the laughing stock of the nation. The nation? I see. <sighs> white! Excuse me, white? Sorry, I was being racist. That was his name, my sister told me. I told you it was like red white. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Mm -hmm. 4 p.m. What should I do? Can I just leave her and go home? Defend Maya! I've made up my mind! <laughs> I'm, I'm going Lord. to defend you whether you want me to or not! Dude, yeah, you can do that! HUH?! Why?! Why? Well... Someone else is the culprit, I know that much. You aren't the culprit, someone else is. How do you know? I um, I have a hunch. Given the evidence, it'd be too it'd be easy to assume that Maya was the killer. But there's something about the whole thing that smells fishy. It may be the fish sandwich I packed in my lunch. <laughs> what was this strange behavior? Was that all an act? Ooh. The way the lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than that, she had no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know. I've been there a long, long time ago. In the galaxy. Far, far away. Copyright. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because Copyright. someone has to look out for the people who had no one on their side. Maya, I would I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Well, that's so kind of you. <laughs> well, let's fight this. Let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right. Thank you. Cool. She's smiling at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just mm. what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Let's go back and try to steal it again. <laughs> I'll steal all the stuff! Clay Potter Hotel. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment, at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy, even though this isn't my room. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like everyone, every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to sneak around. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, okay, you've come back quickly. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phone. Alright. Oh, sure. Mr. White, uh, or Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? I know I heard that name. Why, White? Where are you? That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? I think not. Get it. Quick, 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 quick. There's a screwdriver sticking out of the half woman's drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? Uh, a wiretap? 
She taps the phone! Yeah. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Water type added to the court record. There's, a de there's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For my sake, I'll get this. I'll get to this woman. This woman's bottom. Okay. Wait. I mean, you know what I mean. Who are you talking to? Oh, bellboy, still there? Uh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. Objection. One liner to be continued. Bam! So we finally finished part two, the, I guess. That yeah, part two? something around that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that'll be part but, two. But, evidence collecting. But yeah, pretty thing. much, we're almost gonna start the next scene or the next case or the next the f the second case. So we'll still be doing that. Yes. It's a, case, it's a court case, and each case. So if you just enjoyed this video, uh, like for um. What did I like for last time? Miss May. Like for Miss May. Do it. Comment if, uh, again, who your favorite voice is, because we got a lot more uh, voices this time, so do you still have the same favorite voice? Uh, or... I'll try to use more than just the one voice, so that if you comment, maybe I'll change it. Yeah. <laughs> and subscribe for more. Phoenix Wright. I'm Baconator. Stop. I'm Baconator. You weren't going to do it. I'm, oh, going to I'm Baconator. I'm Killer Pig, and we're signing out. Bye!